all right welcome back to Derek s YouTube channel in this video I'm going to be installing the um, guardian beetle small hive beetle entrances it's an entrance to uh, eliminate small hive beetles from getting into your beehives so um, I just wanted to show you guys real quick their website and um, <clears throat> as you can see there's a uh, two that you can choose from if you have the little holes this would be the entrance that you would get um, I do have a few uh, five frame nukes I didn't order any of these but I will be soon and I may order some more of these to get ready for next year and um, I'll probably put these on my nukes as well as I get ready to uh, start doing splits and and getting new hives next year so anyway, these are the two. I'm going to be demonstrating this one in this video. And um, pretty cool little tool to have. Their website is guardianbhe.com. Also, Barnyard B sells them, I'm pretty sure. Um, but they're pretty cool devices that I wanted to give a try out. And I figured why not do a video. So with that being said, I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe, share, like, and also hit that bell. And always, always, always leave your questions, concerns, and comments down there in that comment section. All right, so enjoy the video. Thank you. All right. Now, hold on. Let me grab one more thing before I get started here. Have to get my handy tool bag here. <laughs> All right. So what we got here is a product that I found online. Barnyard Bees talked about it. A few other ones. And it's the anti beetle uh, anti beetle beehive entrance. And it's by Guardian. You guys can find this online. I think Barnyard Bees sells them also, but you can also get them on the Guardian website, which is Guardian. GuardianBHE.com. That's GuardianBHE.com. And I'm going to be installing these onto uh, my entrance here. Now, these things, let me get one out for you. All right, now these things can go on the big entrance right here, or you could put it on the small entrance right here. It's just a uh, you just have to line it up now when it comes to winter I'm gonna be switching to the small entrance so I'm gonna to have to detach it from the big entrance and reattach it to the small entrance that's one inconvenience but you could also go ahead and buy another entrance like this uh, from any B store online or anywhere like that and uh, and just have one without it or have one on the small end and one on the on the small end and one on the uh, big entrance but I'm gonna put it on the big entrance because it's summer here as you can see I'm sweating and um, and give this thing a try here now definitely I don't know if you guys can see this but I'll get a little closer see the part that sticks out this part that sticks out right here that part goes to the bottom that's where the hive beetles will try to get in but they won't be able to find their way into the entrance to get into your hive they'll come down to the bottom and be stopped because it'll be sitting up against the bottom like that so that's basically how this works so I'll go ahead and get this installed and try it out and I'll definitely keep you guys informed as to how it's working for me and what not I think it's pretty cool because like I have the uh, beetle borns I also have the uh, those all traps that you put in there and uh, I'm still getting a few little high beetles so I'm gonna try this and hopefully I can make you know eliminate as many hot small high beetles as possible in my hive so let's go ahead and get started with that. probably should take these gloves off It's not that hard to screw in once you get it in it. It also has a little slot so you can adjust it to where you need it. 
so it's pretty convenient and an easy way to install this uh, this little entrance the high beetle eliminator <laughs> Pretty simple, just screw it all the way down or just to where you want to um, test it, you know, to make sure it's flush with the bottom because you definitely, you want to get this as flush with the bottom as possible so that hive beetles can't get underneath it. So, almost got it. You don't want to go too tight either because uh, this is plastic and you don't want to damage it can't remember what I paid for this I think it was like nine bucks a piece something like that but I don't have nine bucks to just throw away so <laughs> try to be careful with this pretty simple it's installed so now the only thing I have to do now is uh bees from the entrance so I don't smash too many bees here. But hopefully my smoke will do it. Hopefully they don't come pop me in the face because I don't have my uh, guard on my head right now. Smoke the hell out of them. <laughs> Alright, let's try to get this in there. Ah, they're coming right back in there. And that's a wrap. All right. So now they just have to find their way back in. And it's a done deal. Now this is an eight frame hive. This is my only hive that I have right now. Um, queen Shirley. It's the queen in there. I just added this super. If you watched my last video, you would... Uh, you would see that but um queen shirley's doing pretty good she kind of slowed down in the dearth but uh things are kind of picking up again around here and so we'll just hope that uh she continues to lay eggs and make some brood and go in winter very strong and hopefully i can keep her alive the next year i could start i could start um doing splits and making more hives i have a 10 frame right next to it over here and uh, I'm going to put one on that entrance just so it's done. All right. All right, so I wanted to add this to the end of the video to show you guys that the bees finally did find their way back into their hive. And as you can see, there's tons and tons of pollen coming in. And so I was very excited to see that. But I did want to um, let you guys know that about two hours after installing this entrance onto my beehive, I had a ton of bees on the outside all over the box and I was very very afraid that um, these bees weren't going to be able to find their way back in or I, I was actually even doubting myself thinking that maybe I had um, not installed this in properly because um, it, it appeared that they weren't able to find themselves in but um, I went back out in that uh, the next morning and I noticed that the bees were just uh, trucking along, coming in, bringing pollen. You can see a few of them may be a little confused, but they eventually find their way into the entrance and get in. And I was excited to not see a ton of bees sitting on the outside. So that was definitely a cool thing. And I wanted to add this video so you guys could see the bees actually working, coming into the hive and, uh, you know, finding the entrance without any problem of course there's a few of them as you can see there like wait a minute something something's changed here what's going on but 
they eventually found them what themselves in and uh, everything worked out perfectly look if you're new to the channel definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as hit the bell for notifications thumb up the video and always leave your questions concerns and comments down there in that comment section I do read them and I look forward to reading them so with that being said until next time have a nice day thank you